Welcome to another episode of me suffering with my tripod. Though today I wanted to talk about the recent shooting. Let me tell you a story. Little roots planted in love. As quickly as they shot up from the ground, as quickly as they budded, they were gunned down and mowed to waste by violence, by negligence. One by one, each precious candle dimmed and spirit back to the hands of the giver. We, the larger trees in charge of sheltering and guarding the babies, failed them, all of them. A child massacred other children. As a culture, our focus has become warped and on all the wrong things. Those in powers obsessing over women's reproductive organs while we are completely unable to sustain to adulthood the precious lives already entrusted in our hands. Unaccompanied youth numbers grow in this rich countries. Laws passed like a seventh grade bathroom hall pass. The value of human lives and human rights, a topic of discussion every summer around the clock in the homes of the brave, the land of the free. How free can we be when our children fear for their lives? How free are we when women must travel in packs? How free are we when minorities are still underrepresented, underpaid, and disproportionately incarcerated? We wield an iron fist on oppression, on slavery, on all the isms, on thievery. Oh, I mean capitalism. We enter foreign lands to free them whilst our lawn is on fire and our foundation is rotten. Once again today, we have to send our thoughts and prayers to a grieving father, to a mother, who after nine long months brought their hearts into the world, now left with an empty hole where her heart is supposed to be a child she knew so intimately before the world labeled them a nine-digit social security number. Today, we once again have to have a moment of silence for the lives lost in our recklessness. Why? Why are our homes decked with assault weapons? Why are our screens glorifying violence and calling it harmless entertainment? Our children learn violence in play and we have access to murder weapons mounted on the walls of our homes, our safe haven. I ask you, is your pride, your comfort more valuable than the lives of your children and their friends? Don't you know? A tragedy like this knows no bounds. Any family is candidate to be a casualty of negligence or unintentional harm. Our children are lonely. Our children are anxious. They proclaim depression like it is their middle name. Houses are full to the brim with things, but none of them able to sustain the human need for other humans. The healing touch of a neighbor who can identify with you. The loving arm of a friend mourning with you and bringing you and your remaining family sustenance when you lack the energy to even move just a little bit. Our culture trains us to treat people like collateral. The point of this human experience is to see people, to be seen by people, to love and be loved by people, People are the real gems, not stones, paper, or metals. Guys, I just got back home. I am exhausted. My house looks chaotic. But I'm tired. Um, I think I got some pretty good content for the... Oh, this is... I'm tired. I just go back home. I'm gonna start editing and probably send these pictures by the end of tomorrow. I'm, I just, I want them to be done. I'm back home. Look at how, like, guys, this is actually better than how I left it yesterday. It was pure chaos.
tired i i think my body is finally just like sis you don't tried it this past week you So now I'm tired, um, I need to drink water, I need to have dinner, I need to take a shower. Ugh. I literally came home and I just sat on the floor and was on and TikTok. I was like just 45 minutes. mindlessly scrolling. And she's not a good thing that and I was, I was doing anything. to have to work on that. I, I can see it, I can see it. You know, just like getting on TikTok or on social media and just like scrolling mindlessly. I have gotten kind of good about not doing that on Instagram. Honestly, I'm just, I don't just because I'm kind of rebranding on Instagram and every time, Instagram is just work to me. Um, but every time I go on Instagram, I deliver, okay? I deliver and that's that on that. I know even though nobody like interacts with it, I still deliver, you feel me? So that, I'm like, Jesus, you saw me? You You saw me come through with my bands. I um on TikTok. Um, I don't know. I haven't figured out like my time limit on TikTok yet. We're still working but on that. But I, I did I have noticed this past few days. Like when I, I get anxious I'm or I feel and stuck and then I just get videos, on TikTok to kind of like mindless and create content. Because the content I have actually been struggling to create were not even mine. <laughs> And I think maybe that's why I was overthinking it. Oh my gosh, what's this? I like them a lot, but like, I think I generally don't wear a lot of makeup or wear makeup consistently. And these past like seven days of wearing Ah! Where are you coming from? This is not